The following contest is an elimination match. Make your way to the ring from New York, Lucchese. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. One of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. And her opponents, first from the 90s, the Demon. This competitor is just way, way too aggressive. They need to do some breathing exercises or something. Unlock the inner peace. I'm a little surprised to hear that from you, Corey. You endorse anyone who brings a little animosity to the ring. Well, maybe sometimes I do, but this is too much. They should dial it back. Do some yoga. She's been training for this match for quite a while, and she plans on making a statement here tonight. And from Germany, Lady Destroyer. How can either of you two breathe with all this superstar smugness just wafting through the air right now? Corey, what on earth are you talking about? The WWE Universe loves it. Well, it wouldn't be the first time the WWE loved a self-absorbed competitor, if you smell what I'm cooking. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. And you've got to come into this triple threat with a different mindset than any other match. Well, contending with multiple opponents really makes you think in a cerebral manner. Do you focus on one opponent or wait for an opening and capitalize? Lots of ways to approach this fight. Fought back with a punch to the gut. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Setting it up. Boom! And there's the sling blade. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Top roll. Here's a cover. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. God. There's a reason this is called the triple threat match. The threats are everywhere, Cole. Two opponents. She thinks she has it. 
strong kick out there. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. And back in the ring we go. She's getting fired up, ready to show her opponent what she's got. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. She's beginning to flag a little. Heads out of the ring, what's next? Mounted palm strikes. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Great counter. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Soon. Arm trapped. Precision strikes. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Will it be? And she fights it off. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Delivering nasty stops. Can she capitalize? Say good night. Sleeper hold locked in. I don't know what oh, it could be night now time. No, no, maybe not. What a count. Whoa, turn that kendo stick into a long dart. Big knee to the midsection. in, and there may be no escape. Trouble! In trouble! Has the arm trapped her? Had the arm trapped. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Oh, bad punch. Ouch. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Looking for something, anything under the ring. She knows what an important equalizer the kendo stick can be. Oh man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. Torn down with a lariat. and you have to think that their stamina is running out. Yeah, at this point in the match, it starts to feel like you're fighting in mud. Draped over the middle rope is their opponent. Drop kick on the money. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Oh, there it is. The man of McCraw. It's locked in. It's all over, but the counting. Two. And the final elimination. This one's over. 